What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Today I have a very special Ultra Sabers review, and that is going to be for my Guardian Hilt lightsaber from Ultra Sabers. Now, this thing arrived Monday, and I had ordered it on Thursday, so the ship time for this was really, really fast, and I am pretty darn pleased that it shipped this fast because I wanted to review this for you guys before The Rise of Skywalker came out. And you know, I'm a huge fan of the original trilogy and the prequel trilogy. I actually grew up watching the prequel trilogy in theaters, but before that, I had grown up on the original trilogy, which was inspired by Joseph Campbell and a lot of the other science fiction stuff that George Lucas had seen as a child. And this lightsaber I wanted to get as sort of a reminder of my love of Star Wars, the prequel trilogy, as well as Obi-Wan Kenobi as a character within that universe. And being that this lightsaber was super cheap at $150, especially as a stunt saber or stunt variant, I am super happy with my purchase. I looked at a bunch of reviews online and everybody says that this is one of their favorite lightsaber hilts and you know that this, this is one of the more coveted lightsabers that you can get in your collection and I honestly have to say that once I opened this up and checked the box because when I got the box it arrived damaged again which I don't equate to Ultra Sabers but the shipping company that shipped this lightsaber to me I was a little bit worried that this was gonna get damaged upon shipping but when I opened it up this hilt was actually perfect and flawless and that happens to be because of the design this is made out of aircraft grade aluminum and is pretty much as close that you're gonna get to the movie accurate version of these lightsabers as possible one of my favorite things about these lightsabers is at Ultra Sabers you can pretty much get the lightsabers customized the way that you want it to. And the things that I did to customize this lightsaber to be sort of the specs that I wanted to be customized to is the fact that I added this AV switch here, which this AV switch is in silver. You can also get it in black. This blade is the Ultra Edge mid-grade blade, which I upgraded from my normal mid-grades that I usually get. So it's a little bit thicker. It's able to take a little bit more of a beating, which I'm pretty pleased about, especially since shipping happens. You know, I figured that I would try and get a thicker blade. And it's still looks good it still lights up the room and everything and it, it, this blade for some reason the light actually shines all the way through and doesn't you know cop out at the end like my other lightsaber blades do just the design alone on this thing is fantastic with the way that the shroud looks with the mix between the black and the silver on sort of the handle the grip section now this is sort of a two-handed lightsaber but you can wield it in one hand I know that there's a lot of people out there that say that you should not wield this one-handed but if you have bigger hands like myself you can pretty much wield this pretty easily easily in one-handed mode. You know, I would not recommend it because your arms are going to get a little bit tired after a while. This is a really heavy saber and heavier than even my Archon because people said that the Archon was the heaviest lightsaber on some of their reviews. But personally speaking, I think that the Obi-Wan Kenobi hilt is actually the heaviest. And this is a loosely inspired replica of the Obi-Wan Kenobi lightsaber from Attack of the Clones and the Phantom Menace, which is why I got it. And it's called the Guardian. And being that it's the Guardian, I got it in Guardian Blue. Now I'm going to have to turn off all my green screen effects and stuff in order to show you guys kind of what this looks like in the light as well as in the dark. Blue on blue doesn't really look good even though I call it a green screen it's a blue screen green screen combo. Another thing that I got standard with this is the cover tech wheel. Now this is on the back of the lightsaber which I don't mind because when I'm wearing this lightsaber it's gonna feel really good having it be sort of situated in my belt clip on the back side so I really don't mind it but all over this lightsaber you can see the little details. Now these do light up they have windows here where the emitter section is which I think is really really nice and it's already built in. There is this jewel piece as you can see here that has a little red jewel on it. Now the AV switch does not come standard. If you're going to get an AV switch with your lightsaber that is going to cost you extra as well as the different choices in blade lengths but the cover tech wheel is standard on this so if you guys are looking for sort of something that you can wear around and stuff I would highly recommend this saber especially since this is combat ready. There's no better saber out there besides you know the Ultra Saber's Guardian Hilt in my personal opinion and I've been messing with this for a few hours now and I absolutely love this saber this has become my new favorite aside from the Archon hilt which I really do love a whole lot mostly because that reminds me of Luke Skywalker and Obi-Wan's hilts because they're really really similar in terms of Revenge of the Sith and Return of the Jedi but without further ado let's show you guys what this looks like you know in the dark I am super ecstatic to finally have this in my collection now this red button here it doesn't really do anything um, you can unscrew it but I d wouldn't recommend that I like the way that everything is pretty much flush with the shroud and the shroud itself does come nickel plated so if you want to spend the extra 30 bucks to have that done you can do that I just I had a budget and I didn't want to get nickel plating on this lightsaber now this is a stunt version so it doesn't make sound it doesn't do any of that cool stuff that sort of the emerald and diamond controllers do but for me personally it's all about movie accuracy and the movie accurate lightsabers do not have sound on their lightsabers none of them had sound cards built in them when they're shooting it was all done pretty much post-production so if I were to make a fan film of this or if I were to cosplay with this I would have to sort of you know add in the lightsaber if 
effects digitally in post-production with sort of my sound fonts that I have stored on my computer. And one day I do kind of want to do a video of a before and after where I kind of show you guys how I import these sound fonts digitally in post-production with these lightsabers. But for me, it's not that important. But if somebody's cosplaying or wants to go to a convention or something, it might be important for you guys to get the sound versions. For me, the simple fact that it lights up, that it kind of does something and looks pretty legit to the movie prop is the reason why I got this lightsaber. And this looks fantastic, like I said before. Now this pommel, it does come apart in three pieces. You can remove this and kind of adjust it the way that you want. I am not going to show you how to do that just because there's other videos out there that kind of do that already. So if you want to see how that, that kind of comes apart, definitely check out those other Guardian Hill reviews. But without further ado, let's turn this on and then I'll show you guys what this looks like in the dark without my studio lights on and everything and show you guys how bright this is. So this is what my Guardian Hilt looks like. Obviously it's Guardian Blue and it's pretty much flush throughout the entire blade, which I really like. I did choose the Ultra Edge mid-grade because it's a little bit thicker. So you can do a little bit more light dueling with it, unlike my other previous lightsabers that I have purchased, which have been just the standard mid-grade. If you go with the heavy grade blades, they do cost you a little bit more extra, but they are a little bit more thicker and they allow you to kind of beat the lightsaber and not damage it as much as sort of the other lightsaber blades, which I might do if I ever get another lightsaber, which I definitely do plan and maybe that one will be my first sound saver. But for the product that I got, I am super, super happy with this. I think that Ultra Sabers nailed it out of the park once again. And I would like to thank Emery at Ultra Sabers for shipping this out to me. You know, as a Star Wars fan, there's nothing cooler than having Obi-Wan Kenobi's hilt from the first two movies in palm of your hands. And I'd have to say that this is one of my new favorite lightsabers. Like I said before, I do like my other lightsabers. It's just this one is unique and special in a different way. And I am a Luke Skywalker and sort of an Obi-Wan Kenobi fan. So it's kind of cool to have his lightsaber. As you can see with the windows on this emitter, they do kind of glow, which is kind of nice so that you have a little bit of light showing through, which I definitely do like on this hilt. It's definitely pretty cool. You can remove this blade, but I unfortunately did not buy the correct Allen key. I thought I could just use my normal Allen keys, but as you can see here, this is where you take out the blade and it is a little bit bigger in terms of the size of the Allen key uh, screw. So I'm going to have to find an Allen key so I could be able to remove it and then, you know, use my blade plug with this thing. But overall, this thing is badass. I really do love this saber. So if I were to give this a grade, I would probably have to give this an A+. Yes, it's a little bit heavier. Yes, it's going to be harder to swing. But if you have bigger hands like myself, you should have no problem swinging this thing around. Without further ado, let's show this what it looks like in the dark. And I will get back to you in a little bit. So this is what it looks like with the lights off. As you can tell, this lightsaber is super bright. And it pretty much lights up the room around me. If I did not have this lightsaber going off, I probably would not be able to see. There's a little bit of light coming at the curtains over there. But this is as close to being in the dark as I could possibly get in this room. And I'd have to say that this is even better in the dark. It looks a lot better. And, you know, you can barely see anything. You turn this on and you can pretty much see while your lightsaber is activated. But, you know, personally speaking, I think this is one of my favorite lightsabers that I own. And it's almost movie accurate aside from being a little bit larger, a little bit bigger than the movie version. So uh, that's pretty much fine with me. You know, total accuracy is not really that important. But the fact that it looks legit like the Obi-Wan Kenobi lightsaber from the first two films is definitely important. So, you know, I'd have to say that if you're looking into buying this, definitely do so. You will not be disappointed. As always, guys, like, rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.